Hello there. Um, today um, I'm going to do a bit of prop balancing. Um, and I've been very happy with my DJI Phantom 2 Vision. Uh, it flies nicely, the, the, the video is fine. Um, but my interest was piqued because uh, a very nice man called Glenn Edwards sent me one of these and said he's had these made up for balancing the vision props and would I like to have a look at it? And um, I said, yes, um, it'd be very interesting to see. Um, and so basically it's a, it's a stainless rod. It's been really beautifully machined, the threads at each end. They're really clean, they don't grind up your props. There's a silver end and there's a black end. And would you believe it? The one uh, coincides. Oh, I can get it around the right way because I'm unscrewing the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Once you remember which way is which, they go on really beautifully. And uh, just to do one that I'm used to, the more normal clockwise thread. There, right down to the bottom, and you know, solid. Look really nice, really nicely done. Um, uh, Glenn's had a, uh, so a load of these made up and he's looking to sort of um, sell them on. He's going to post them out at cost and I'll put details of um, how you can get in touch with him if you want one at the end of the video. But um, I just thought we'd see how it worked. Now there's only one problem as far as I was concerned is that I don't own a proper balancer. Um, I've seen, I seen, most people seem to rave about the Dubro. I think you pronounce the Dubro, D-U-B-R-O balancer, which looks fantastically made uh, and has a fantastic price to go with it as far as I was concerned, because, you know, I'm still running on all bar one prop, the same as came out of the box. I chipped one prop. And I don't intend to sort of be balancing many props. Um, so I thought, well, is there a way of, of doing it slightly more economically than that? So the first thing I tried was buying one of these, which was only about uh, five or six quid and it's made of plastic and weighs nothing at all and is rubbish um i won't even i won't even tell you where i got it or what it's called it's it's so bad um for various reasons which we don't need to go in on either well there's one of them for a start anyway so the idea with this is that obviously they come with a thin rod that sits in the middle you have a standard prop with a hole through it you can stick it in there you get like a low friction pivot here and, and you can see if your props doesn't work obviously with the, the vision they've got a captive nut in there there's no hole to push through so the idea is I thought aha I'll take my excellently made rod and I will uh, use that it's about to be fine but the problem is um, well as you can see you kind of think oh it's going and then no it sort of works for a bit and then it sticks and then there's a bit of friction and there isn't and you know it's just there's too much friction the rod is too heavy and it's too wide and these rollers are useless and save you save your money basically so i was um i was having a, a drink one evening and, and i suddenly thought ah a bit of solid glassware this is a cut glass um tumbler it's nice and hefty but it's quite a well-made one and this rim is nice and level uh, that's optional by the way but I find it helps so what you can do with the aid of a handy table is if you get a sort of the balance point so it doesn't tip this way or go that way and then let it go look at that catch it before it falls off the end quite a low friction run and you'll see I've already marked this one up from earlier that's the heavy side and you'll see it does that now We'll just check by running it this way. Yep, running it this way. Yep, it's definitely the heavy side. And that seems to work really well. Obviously you need to be on a level surface. I've leveled this up. I've had to just chock up under one leg slightly, get my spirit level out and just, a bit, you know, take a bit more time if you want. If you've got a, um, a surface, you can you can actually level completely true. You'll get an even better result. But I thought, you know, it's pretty reasonable. And here's one I prepared earlier. So what I did, is you may not be able to see it, but this was the heavy side. Just see that line there. What I did was I took some sand, fairly fine sandpaper, and just sort of bracing, just 
use the sandpaper to take off a very thin layer of material, check it again, still heavy, take a little bit more, check, take a little bit more. Didn't take too long, five or six minutes. Um, and yeah, and by doing that method, I know some other people I've seen add to the light side, so varnish layers or uh, you know electrical tape or something but I don't know I just I just figure adding something doesn't sit right with me for some reason the tape flies off or the varnish attacks the plastic of your prop that's not very good is it so I thought you know actually sanding the sanding method would be the best um, there we go do it the other way Ooh. Ooh, maybe I need to take a little bit more hang on it's very let's check it out yeah, maybe, but it's pretty much much a lot better than it was. There we go. So I'm really pleased with that as a as a method. Obviously, take your time, do it a bit more um, carefully than I have. Um, but I basically, I've got a few here that that, that I still you see I need to work on. They're still marked with the heavy side. Um, I found that of the, and I've only bought official DJI props. I haven't got any of the sort of eBay knockoffs. Uh, and out of the packets, 50% um, of them were spot on, balanced, and 50% of them were heavier on one side than the other, which, you know, it is what it is. I haven't had a chance to um, to, to fly yet um, to test them out because we've had nonstop gales and horrendous weather here in the UK. But, you know, thanks again to Glenn for sending that. And I think if you, if you can use the, the glass method there, it's a very low friction on the steel. And that seems to be quite a good way. So as I said, I'll put uh, uh, some details at the bottom here and, uh, and in the description as well of how you can get in touch with Glenn if you'd like one of these. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If anyone's got any comments or any other suggestions, please add them to the bottom and um, cheers.